we can confirm this top of supply here on the Qs, we're going to have a pretty aggressive rally. And that's exactly, fingers crossed, toes crossed, that's exactly uh, what we are looking for. And if you go through uh, chart after chart after chart, you'll start noticing a lot of similarities. First of all, Amazon uh, is very, very close. Again, this is mirroring perfectly the QQQ. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, happy Monday everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Uh, hope everybody had a good trading day, a lot of good aggressive action. Uh, unfortunately, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this video a little bit shorter. I totally forgot my daughter has another soccer game, so I have to literally leave like in 10, 15 minutes. I just wanted to get you guys kind of set up uh, for tomorrow uh, and get you guys in the right frame of mind. So uh, let's talk about quickly what happened today. Number one, uh, you know, we were obviously bullish. If you watch the weekend update, we, we, we definitely liked what the market did. We talked about uh, over the weekend how the bulls reclaimed the five-day moving average and the 10. Uh, what happened today was a really aggressive big gap up. Um, the, the last thing you want to do when you are bullish sentiment or even bearish sentiment, the last thing you want to do is trade average true range. Like we always talk about on the gap down days that are very exaggerated, the value is always to the downside because again, when there's a big exaggerated gap down with futures, usually people are selling their shares emotionally and usually the stocks uh, trade with about a 90% average true range to their normal uh, expectancy. Uh, although it's a little bit different on the upside because again, the momentum is in that direction, it kind of sort of plays out the same way. The last thing you want to do when you get a gap up, and we had a pretty big gap up today uh, in the futures, the last thing you want to do are chase stocks uh, you know, 90, 95 percent of their average true range. And again, unfortunately, more people will chase to the upside because of the lights, and they get very, very excited. Then actually sell their shares to the downside. And although today was not one of those scenarios that the value was to the downside, just because how good the setup was from Friday's action, you had to be very, very careful. So if you guys notice what happened on a lot of names uh, at the open, they got pulled and they got pulled uh, very, very aggressively. And I tweeted out this morning, um, around eight o'clock in the morning, you know, it kind of sucks, but 99% of my watch list or my game plan was kind of, you know, set of flames. It was, it was gone. And we had to really uh, make do with the 1% today. And it actually turned out to be very, very okay. Okay, you know, pretty, actually pretty solid day. Uh, Square was good. Uh, Beyond was okay. DraftKings was very, very good. Um, although I screwed it up because I took it for a scalp more than, than a big move. But you had some pretty good value today on a day that actually gapped up really aggressively. And what's setting up for tomorrow, and this is kind of, I'm, I'm, I apologize, I'm kind of rushing through this because again, I have to leave in a few minutes. What's setting up for tomorrow is one of those days that if you go through charts tonight, okay, and it's very, very important, again, every, especially new trader, go through, uh, through charts, you're going to notice a few things. Number one, from the macro point of view, like we discussed on the video, not only today did we uh, reclaim this 274 level, okay, when we gapped up, we actually retraced back to the 274 level and the bulls held it very, very nicely and we closed at the highs. So you don't have to be very, very creative tonight when you're doing your research, uh, especially if you guys who do trade beta names, the Amazons of the world, the Apples of the world, the Nvidia's of the world, the Netflixes of the world. When you trade those stocks, you can go through all those charts very, very quickly and you'll notice the same thing. They're very close busting out macro, just the same way the Qs are very, very close. And we talked about uh, the levels on last night's video. We talked about the 274 level, right? Check. We talked about the 277 level, check. So you could see how close we really are from maintaining and reclaiming this whole area here for going on a pretty aggressive big run tomorrow. So I think tomorrow's action is gonna be very, very important uh, for the bull case, okay? I think if we gap up and we start losing uh, this 277 level, again, nobody's calling for Armageddon, but again, if we gap above this level and the bears reclaim the supply, then we're gonna roll over. So the key for the bulls, and, and again, in a perfect world tomorrow, the bulls will, number one, hopefully the futures will gap down a little bit. 
uh, trap some aggressive, naive, inexperienced shorts. And if we can confirm, right, if we can confirm this top of supply here on the Qs, we're going to have a pretty aggressive rally. And that's exactly, fingers crossed, toes crossed, that's exactly uh, what we are looking for. And if you go through uh, chart after chart after chart, you'll start noticing a lot of similarities. First of all, Amazon uh, is very, very close. Again, this is mirroring perfectly the QQQs, but again, there is a catalyst, right? There is uh, Amazon Prime Day. I believe it was, it's starting October the 13th. If Amazon confirms this whole channel, guys, look how much room you have, right? Again, you can see in your eyes. There is no supply from the top of this channel here, the 50-day supply, all the way up to 3,500. So if the Qs can do their job and the, and the macro uh, bulls can really confirm today's price action, we have a lot of measure potential. For, so for all you guys who are especially are trading on the option side and are looking for a bigger potential, well, here it is. That's why tomorrow's day is very, very important. When you look at Apple, for example, right? Again, we're, it's mirroring the cues. We have one day here, and if it could reclaim this whole supply here, again, look how much room Apple has. You're talking about 24, 25, and if you go through uh, the option flow today in Apple, they were very, very aggressive, guys. They were buying uh, the 120s, the 125s, so very, very aggressive order flow coming in on Apple. When you look at a chart, for example, like Qualcomm, for example, look how close, guys. It busted out today. Again, we started seeing aggressive order flow coming in on the 119s, the 120s, the 125s on, on Qualcomm. Again, very, very strong chart. So you're starting to, you're starting to get the point. Even names, for example, like Netflix, right? That, it, that, that the trade is not as obvious, okay? Because again, you can see all the supply, but if it starts reclaiming all the supply, we did see a very, very short-term option flow come in on 500, 510 weeklies as well. So everything is literally setting up for tomorrow's action. The key for tonight is number one, we're hoping we don't get this aggressive, crazy up, uh, um, gap up tomorrow, okay? Uh, in a perfect world, again, like I said a few minutes ago, we gap down, trap early shorts, go red to green, confirm the 60-minute channels, confirm the macro channels, and we can have a very serious, aggressive uh, day there as well. Uh, some other names I definitely like as well. Look at CRM. Again, CRM has two and a half weeks of distribution. If it can start reclaiming supply, again, the stock had great earnings. Uh, it's been going sideways to down for the last couple of weeks. If it can reclaim supply, it can go as well. Even the smaller names, like a space, for example, right? Big, big move today. Massive volume stopped right at supply. Again, if it can reclaim supply, look how much room you have to the upside. Again, another name with aggressive call buying. You saw it seeing today the 20s. I even saw the 25s go off. So again, the market is setting up really, really well. But again, the most important point of, of this session for tonight, uh, doing your research, again, don't anticipate. Okay, don't anticipate. Don't get too aggressive. Don't get too antsy. Let these things confirm technically. Just the same way we, we wait for confirmation to the downside, we have to wait for confirmation to the upside. Again, a plan without confirmation is just a wish, okay? And it's very, very important not to anticipate these trades because, again, if you wake up in the morning and you're saying to yourself, that's it, Dan said everything's bullish. Again, also Dan says, remember, everything needs to confirm. I promise you, if you anticipate a trade without confirmation, you're going to get creamed. It's just the reality. Technical analysis is there for a reason. It's a guide, okay? We're not hoping open for things. We're just letting for price action to, to seriously sit there and confirm uh, what we think is about to happen. So again, guys, I apologize for the short video, but again, when 11 and 12 year old girls have a, have a travel soccer team, I'm the designated soccer mom. Guys, God bless. Have a great night. God's help. I'll see you all tomorrow.